I failed a lot. But that's good news for you. That means that you don't have to do the same failures that I did. We're gonna like ourselves a little bit more by the end of this video. Feel more confident, feel like a baddie, have a good energy about you. And I'm all about multitasking, so we're also gonna get ready. <laughs> One of the first mistakes that I made that you're not gonna make, I was ungrateful. When anyone comes to me and they're like, oh, I'm unmotivated, I never feel good about myself, bad things are always happening to me, I'm always like, do you have any routine of gratitude? And every time they're always like, no. I really used to be an anti-journaling girly because I always got made fun of for my horrible handwriting. But now I think I have 10 journals just filled of gratitude. A big reason why this helps so many people is because it shifts your mentality from being in the victim mentality to being in everything's working out for me mentality. Once you make that shift, you're gonna see a lot of huge changes in your life. Next is not keeping promises to yourself. Imagine you have a friend, this friend always cancels on you and for the stupidest reasons. Just don't feel like it today. Feeling a little tired. You would not trust that friend. Probably wouldn't be good friends with them, but that's what we do when we cancel plans with ourselves. We start not trusting ourselves. We start not liking ourselves. It really spirals in when we cancel plans that we make with ourselves. If we say we're gonna go to the gym, just do it. Even if you go and you just walk in the gym, look at some weights and leave, fine. At least you kept a promise to yourself. Ooh, we're glued up. And if you need to cancel your plans, that's okay. Just like any other friend, if they cancel plans with you, be understanding. Just be a good friend to yourself. A good friend doesn't cancel plans. And if you do need to cancel plans, the other friend is very understanding. Find a way to make it work. I guess I can't speak while doing eyebrows. My brain doesn't work. The last thing we're not gonna do. Okay, this is kind of gonna go with the friend thing, but talk nice to yourself. You wouldn't want to hang around someone that is always talking crap about you or other people, right? If that's something you really struggle with, because I struggled with it for a really long time. The main thing I did to get out of that is when I thought one negative thing about myself, I had to think of five new things that were positive. You also have to think kind things and say kind things about other people. Why does that matter? Why do I need to think and say kind things about other people? How does that affect me? Let's just say you see someone walking down the street and you're like, ew, what they're doing is so cringe. You just made a belief in your head that if you are to walk like that, that you're gonna look cringe and weird and stupid. You just gave yourself a limitation. Ew, you're gonna do everything in your power to avoid looking like that one person. If you don't want a mountain of limitations, be nice to other people and yourself. <laughs> Start that practice. We are ready for the day. Now you can avoid all the dumb things that Megan did and be a lot more happy and successful faster than me. <laughs> you are loved, you're doing amazing, and I can't wait to see you next week.